when the residents of Epworth Villa moved here, they all received a promise. And they trusted that promise. And it was a promise to not only them, but their families as well. By joining us today, you are doing a smart thing. You're using wisdom to do some investigation to determine whether you might consider trusting Epworth and believing in the promises that, that we make. My perspective will certainly be shared with you today during this webinar, but more importantly, I'm going to share the perspectives of our residents. Many of them have been interviewed, and in fact, the residents themselves have interviewed one another. Sort of a COVID-19 project that they had where they thought, you know what, we can't be together as much as we would like. How about we get to know each other in a different way? So they took it upon themselves to pull together a production crew and safely, of course, with social distancing, uh, film one another, learning about their backgrounds and their histories and learning about why they chose Epworth. What brought them here? What keeps them here? What keeps them thriving? So you're going to learn more about that today. I'm going to share that with you uh, to find out, you know, after years of living here, many who have lived here for several years, did the promises come into fruition? Did Epworth come through? Did we deliver on those promises? How did you decide to move to Epworth? In 19, excuse me, 2011, we were having some medical problems and decided we needed to get out of the, the house maintenance and the cooking and all that. So we went online, received about 50 brochures from organizations similar to Epworth. And we visited uh, two or three places in uh, Ohio where Gail's sister lives, a couple in Texas where her daughter lives, and then Arkansas, of course. And uh, then a friend from Oklahoma said, try Oklahoma. So we went online, found Epworth, came over here. Nothing was compared to what uh -huh. Epworth had. It was just beautiful. Awesome. Wonderful experience. Mr. Frost touches on a common theme among our residents. Uh, some of them experienced some health issues that prompted them to look into Epworth Villa. And why would they do that? Well, the reality is that as we age, there is a higher degree of likelihood that, oh, about every six months or so, something's going to happen that is a bit of a setback. And it may take some time uh, to recover, to rejuvenate. And Epworth provides an amazing support system to be able to help you during those times of need. In our independent living area, we help take off some of the daily burden that you may be experiencing. Uh, you may have a yard to take care of. You may have cooking and cleaning, maintenance work around the house. You might be able to actually hire people to do that, but perhaps it's getting more difficult to do it. We can help to lift that burden and even when you go through a few episodes of some health issues uh, we're here to support we have uh, an area our skilled nursing area that is uh, directly uh, receiving people from hospitals for uh, health issues usually hospitalization for maybe a surgery or an illness or something and sometimes you just need a few days you know to recover to get some therapy and to have it be fairly intense and you're just not able to be at home any longer, our skilled nursing can help with that. There's a variety of ways that uh, we support through our uh, improvement of health, through the wellness coordinator uh, that we have. Lori Love is her name. She's doing an excellent job for us. Our independent living director, Destiny Helms, oversees a team that really nurtures the whole person so that overall your health most likely will improve when you move to Epworth. We have that kind of track record and I think you'll see as you listen to the residents that their lives have improved by moving here. 
Kathy Nichols is actually a registered nurse who has retired. Uh, she was in Alaska for several years and uh, was a school nurse there. So she has uh, come a long ways to be at Epworth as you'll hear her story and why she came here. <music> find your way to Epworth and what brought you to Epworth? Um, what brought me here? My daughter lives in Oklahoma yes. and I knew as I got older that I needed to be near family. That is and so for five years, every spring break, I would come down here and we visited every place in Oklahoma City, I think. And the best, the very best was Epworth. I called it Fufu Palace when I went back to Alaska and told people where I was going. <laughs> and finally, the time came that I really needed to retire even though I didn't want to. And I came to Epworth. And I've been here almost two years and I am so, so glad I moved here. We haven't yet adopted the Fufu Palace as uh, our new name yet, but it is up there as a possibility. All kidding aside, uh, it really is nice here. We, we've had a, a great blessing of um, years now, uh, 30 uh, years of existence and expansion and, and inability to uh, keep uh, Epworth really attractive and uh, just a pleasant place to be. I think you'll really enjoy uh, the amenities that we have here. Um, I'm not sure if it's a palace level or not, but it is really nice, and I'm glad that, uh, that Mrs. Nichols enjoys it. And interesting to hear her talk about wanting to be closer to family. That's a common theme that I hear. You may relate to that if you have children or family that you're close to. Uh, we see that a lot, and you may be someone who's uh, on this webinar. You might not be local. Uh, you may be uh, dialing in or on the web from a, a distant place. Uh, but maybe you have family here. It's a, it's a really strong reason, a real strong benefit that we partner with families really to help uh, as, as aging parents needs change, we become a part of that solution and really help support in a way that takes a burden off of families that, uh, boy, I tell you, I really get a lot of, of great comments, uh, you know, especially during this COVID time period. The families have been so appreciative. Uh, in fact, I was doing some yard work just yesterday and I was out front and a couple came walking by and uh, they stopped and said, are you the CEO of Epworth Villa? And I said, well, by, you know, by the way I am. And she said, you know, my mother lives there and I so appreciate the job that you folks are doing. Uh, your team is great and uh, especially during this time when I can't be there to visit her as much because of COVID. Um, it's so good to have that confidence in knowing that, uh, that you're there for her. So we're happy to be here and uh, it's always great when we hear that we have fulfilled those promises. Uh, Walter, what brought you and Linda to Epworth? Thank you for your question. Uh, Linda and I had retired from the Boston Public Schools in 2004, four years earlier. We had moved to New Hampshire, which is a lovely place to live. Uh, but we had begun to think about retirement and we explored possibilities in New Hampshire. It was very expensive. And my parents had been at Epworth Villa, so I made the telephone call and they were building houses and said, aha, we can go to Epworth Villa and live in a house. So we decided to come. Well, Walter touches on one really important aspect of Epworth, and that's the affordability of living here. And uh, a lot of our residents, you know, they've told me that when you crunch the numbers and you really look at the long-term cost of future health care and the potential for needs for memory care and whatnot, it it actually is quite affordable. And uh, yes, you are paying a little bit more and it's sort of a prepayment of your health services, uh, but you moderate that over the rest of your life in such a way that it becomes doable. It relieves a, a burden and a stress 
off of your mind of wondering what might happen and am I ready and is there something that's going to happen with my health that I'm not going to be able to handle and puts even more of a burden on my family and loved ones. And another aspect too, this notion of moving into a house, uh, that may not be something that is on your radar, but I would encourage you to consider it. Uh, we have some beautiful cottages and areas that are you know, in our independent living that uh, are just a, you know, a short walk away from the amenities here and um, take advantage of that. Hope you can come and, and check us out and see for yourself. <music>
Well, we had been thinking about uh, moving, and uh, I tried to get a place established in Stillwater. And when I found that there wasn't very much chance of that working, and we found that we could not employ uh, dependable help, and our yard kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the dishwashing and the cooking kind of got overwhelming. So we, uh, we visited quite a few places in Tulsa, Oklahoma City and area, and we decided that in order to relieve stress on our children, that it'd be a good idea we moved to Epworth. And so we visited several times and contemplated and debated, and finally we made a decision for which I'm very happy. I love that Dr. Plaxico highlighted the, the decision process and what they went through to, to really kind of weigh their options. And uh, it's great that you're doing that as well. Uh, you're very wise to, to take the time uh, to, to just investigate and, and just kind of learn and, and grow in your knowledge of what your options are and what you can do uh, to help preserve your future and make it the best future that it can be a thriving future. Um, I also liked what Dr. Plaxico had to say about uh, the burdens of life that sometimes can get a little uh, taxing, the dishwashing, the kitchen work, you know, finding good people that are reliable uh, to come and help you is a challenge. And so uh, we take on that burden for you. And, and our staff, I tell you, we have just got some amazing people who work here, and uh, we're so blessed. I know I feel blessed to just call them my teammates. We have a group of folks being a faith-based organization. I think we attract folks probably that also come from a faith-based perspective, and they express their faith through service. They want to, to serve. They want to help others. They gain fulfillment as they serve and, and uh, invest in the lives of those that they serve. So you get to be the beneficiaries of that as residents here, and you build really enjoyable relationships and fulfilling relationships with the folks that work here uh, because they truly have, uh, we truly have your best interest at, at heart. Uh, and so what a gift you can make to your loved ones, your family, uh, by coming and living in a place like Epworth. Not only do you take burden off of them, but they see you thriving in a way that they know you would not be able to do it in your home now or wherever you may be. So with that, I'll thank our residents for uh, their wonderful words today. Um, thank you for listening to that and uh, look forward to answering some of your questions. Let's take a moment to do that now.